All right, so as you guys kind of follow up last season, what do you sort of want to see this summer? What what, what are kind of the hot buttons here for this team that you got to get ironed out? Yeah, just continue working. Obviously, it's a new group. Uh, lost some key pieces, but uh, we got a lot to improve on. But uh, we still got the same goals in mind. Uh, there's no step back, only forward. So uh, just getting our older guys to teach young guys the ropes and uh, show them how we roll around here. How do you go about doing that? Is it just locally? Is it example? Is it How do you pass down the yeah. stuff that made you good last year? Doing things that Ethan Moore and Mason Gillis did for us. Doing things that Zach did for us. Whether it's showing up at 7 a.m. or whether it's diving on loose balls or whether it's talking to him after drills. It's uh, just showing him what to do and how to act because uh, getting national championships is tough. And uh, we want to do it again. So just teaching them what we do and how we roll and uh, them improving and uh, showing us their talent as well. Offensively, obviously, things change without Zach. How do you feel about the pieces and how they might kind of fit together? Yeah, obviously, when you got a point guard like Brady, your offense moves, and uh, it's going to be a good offense. So playing around him, uh, TK's a great force down low, and uh, just figuring out pieces to put around those two and uh, figuring out how I can uh, develop as well, how I can get my looks, how I can move throughout the offense and score some as well. Braden and Zach had such a clear synergy between the two of them. Yeah. Does he have to find somebody like that this year, too, to kind of be that, that starting point uh, in the, uh, whether yes it be pick and, and no. roll or whatever? Yes and no. I think there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of guys, but um, I think he's so good with the ball and he's so good at passing that he'll he'll find people, uh, whether it's going to be a lob or a kick out three, he, he'll find the right shot for us. PJ said last week that you're going to have the ball in your hands more and they're going to ask more of you. What more are you capable of here? Yeah, I, feel like. I think I'm a pretty good passer as well, uh, whether it's coming off screens or it's out in transition, just being able to play make for others. But uh, also just uh, be looking to score more, looking to attack in mm -hmm. gaps, attacking closeouts, and uh, just being more aggressive and uh, being stronger with the ball. You have always kind of picked your spots, played off other people. Do you have to change your mentality at all, kind of going into games now? I wouldn't say my, change my mentality. Mentality is to win. So um, going out there, whether it's getting 20, whether it's getting 15 or 10 or 2, it's uh, going out there to win. So, yeah, I got to be more aggressive. I got to look to attack gaps more and find my way to get into closeouts more. But ultimately, it's just playing my game, and uh, now just being a little bit more aggressive with it. Such a big part of your role was getting into Zach. Um, you'll probably keep that much of that same offense, but, but will it change? I mean, you already kind of touched on. Being uh, we haven't really touched on that yet. Um, surely it'll change um, because obviously Zach touched a lot. Zach, uh, Zach's one of the best college players of all time. So when you don't have that, uh, you gotta adjust. So. Um, we're going to figure a lot of things out this summer, good and bad, and uh, we're going to move on. We're going to still be a pretty damn good team coming fall. I know that Daniel's not here yet, but integrating these new guys, that seems like, you know, obviously a big class, but a very talented class yeah. that is going to help this team in all our games. Yeah, it's, uh, they've been impressive so far. Uh, more importantly, with their skill, they've showed up. They showed up early to work out um, the Monday, the first day they got here. They showed up and played hard as hell in open gym last night. They showed up to compete, and uh, we all love that, and we all noticed that. So credit to them, and uh, we're going to keep doing it moving forward, and we're going to teach them a lot, and they're going to teach us a lot. You and Braden got thrown right to the fire as freshmen. What, me what lessons can you pass on to those guys coming in now that you kind of learned maybe the hard way? Yeah, I would say it all just comes down to being a good guy. Um, you can you can make or miss shots, but ultimately it's uh, it's June. Uh, they're hopefully going to fall in the fall in the fall when the season comes around. But uh, ultimately, you can show up on time. You can do the right things. And you can play hard, and that's what we're going to do. How do you feel about the way you guys left things off? You know, a few months removed. Yeah, it's uh, obviously something special we did for the school, for coach, for this town. It's um, it's a lot, but. Uh, we didn't win, so I think we all are hungry to go back and win another Big Ten championship and make another run in March and get back to the Final Four. So we all know those goals. We all see it. Uh, we all see those banners that are going to get put up. So that means something to us, and we're going to push these guys just as hard as we pushed each other last year. What do you remember about your coming in as a freshman yourself? I mean, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, I remember not seeing many Final Four banners up, and we did that, and uh, we still got more to do. So. We're going to be hungry, and we're going to keep pushing these guys. You, know, you were around quite a bit in May. What were you trying to get done? Was it weight room stuff? Was it just kind of being around? Was it? Yeah, it's just working on my body, working on my game. It's um, it's go time now. I, I can't be a can't be the fifth option. Sometimes I gotta I gotta move up. I gotta get better. And uh, whether it's still uh, finding up a guy, whether it's me looking for it more, I gotta get stronger. I gotta put on some good weight, and uh, I gotta get better. I haven't cleaned my glasses in a while, but it looks like you got some. A little more muscle. Thanks, Brian. You should tell the people on Twitter that. <laughs> <laughs>
seem to st struck a nerve there. Is, is that something you, oh, no, you hear people saying? No, I don't. I don't even have Twitter anymore. <laughs> is it a priority for you though to get bigger and stronger? And yeah. If so why? Just like uh, just like anybody, you want to get better. And uh, when you see that's some of your game that you can improve on, and you can see you can get more athletic, it help you be a better defender, help you be a better ball handler, help you get to the rim better. It's uh, why wouldn't you do it? So. Uh, my goal is to play in the NBA, so I'm going to do whatever I can to get there. And I think uh, by me getting stronger, uh, helping this team win more, that'll help me do it. From a defensive perspective, not having the Empire State Building behind you, how does that have to? How does that change everything for people? Yeah, we're going to have to fly around a lot more. We're gonna, probably going to have to switch more. We're going to have to be more aggressive on the ball, and we're going to have to be better defensively. It's um, it's uh, something we'll have to figure out. Probably have to play a little bit of different ball screen coverage, but uh, we'll figure it out.